this video, I'm going to talk about how to pollinate hard shelled gourds, and this method will also work for other me members of the uh, gourd and pumpkin family. Now this is a uh, hard shelled gourd for bird houses. This one here is a female, and it's early in the morning. Uh, the hard shelled gourds of the genus Lagenaria have white flowers. They're nocturnal. So they open at night and get pollinated by beetles and uh, moths as opposed to things like pumpkins and squash that have yellow flowers which are daytime or diurnal and get pollinated by bees and ants. And uh, these are closed because it's early in the morning. This one came up so they're done for today. And uh, the females have the ovary which is, will become the fruit or the gourd once it matures. This is very different from the male flower, which is this guy over here. So here's a, a fresher one. He just recently closed. Notice there's no nothing at the back. It's pretty simplistic. There's two ways you can uh, pollinate this if you're not getting insects to do the job for you. You can get a, a paintbrush, and what you do is you get a male flower, and hopefully the insects haven't gotten to this before you do. You just stick the paintbrush in there, spin it around, and you might see, you now it's hard to tell with this camera, doesn't doesn't zoom very well, and everything's kind of dewy right now, so it's not really sticking. But you should get, that's better, a little bit of yellow pollen on there. When you go over to the female flower, you open up the petals, you see the inside is very different and you just kind of paint it on just like that pretty simple now there's another method you can use and uh, the, the disadvantage to using the paintbrush is that if you're crossing different species um, if you're pollinating different species and you don't want them crossed it's difficult to watch this and not guarantee that you're not going to be mixing the wrong kind of pollen onto the different female flowers so to prevent that, you can use the same uh, male gourd as an example. What you do is you pull the flower off, and you pull the petals off. And you expose the pollen like that. And this will now become your paintbrush and you're guaranteed to only get pollen from this flower. And you take it over to your female and again just treat it like a paintbrush and kind of paint it on. And if you're doing a specific cross and you don't want the bees or the ants coming in here and adding pollen that you don't want, you can take a twisty tie and put the petals back in place and then close it like this and then fold it back the other way and the insects shouldn't get in there to add extra pollen that you don't want.